Welcome, everyone, and I'd like to welcome you today to data management, and I'll go through the learning objectives, but I'm going to ask a question after I finish this particular slide. And so our learning objectives for our webinar today is to identify roles and responsibilities of the CDM research team, discuss protocol design and development process and data management and where we fit into that group, recognize the CDM startup activities and the documentation that's associated with it, and discuss case report form design, data tracking and collection, data entry and capture. Continuing with the other objectives, we have discussing data review, validation and queries, recognize the rationale of the MEDRA dictionary for coding of adverse events in medical history, discuss database lock and release, examine adverse events, reporting and reconciliation, and applying suggestions for future study. We talk about the regulations, and I know that be those groups of you that are quality assurance or in different disciplines certainly are familiar with good clinical practice, and we know that the, the rules of conducting cl good, clean, and ethical research are part and parcel of the GCP component. We know that the purpose is to protect the rights and welfare and safety of research subjects, comply with the requirements, and I have certain things bolded here that would be applicable to, let's say, the data management function, and that is to ensure the integrity of the clinical data. However, that responsibility really relies on all of the folks that are participating in clinical trial. Some of the principles of the ICHGCP are to conduct studies in accordance with ethical principles, looking at the foreseeable risks weighed against the benefits, the rights, safety, and well-being of trial subjects and patients are considered. This is very important, that trials should be scientifically sound and described in a detailed protocol, informed consent obtained from every participant, and confidentiality of participants is protected. And as we know, the GDPR, the confidentiality, requirements by the EU came into practice, let's say, relatively recently as far as the privacy concerns are. So with the HIPAA and the GDPR, we have some significant privacy requirements that we have to participate in. The ICH is the International Conference on Harmonization, and we know that for the ICH E6, there has been a revision two that has updated significantly the ICAG6 document. The original had not been amended in over 19 years. And basically, ICH was implemented to harmonize many of the processes that we do in clinical research. And then locally here in the US, we have the FDA and other regulatory officials. And basically, the FDA's role and responsibility is to protect the health and safety of the consumers. They enforce the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act and regulations and laws, and they regulate the processes through which the evidence of product safety and efficacy are developed. So the FDA issues regulations and guidance documents, and there are different divisions that regulate, obviously, different products. We have drugs, medical devices, biologics, special nutritional products, veterinary products, and other non-medical products. So we've got multiple divisions. We are pretty much from a data management perspective. And this is a discipline that really can be applicable to either drugs, devices, or biologics. And the, the foundational principles are the same regardless of what we're looking at as far as managing clinical research data. And since both Groups have indicated that they are part of the sponsor, then you know that the sponsor can be supplementing their activities by the utilization of the CRO. We also have the investigational sites. The IRB, or Ethics Committee, participate as well. We have the FDA, the ICH Conference on Harmonization, and the research subjects. And I always, when I look at this bullet list, I always say if it wasn't for the research subject, there wouldn't be any of the rest of us to participate. So in the sponsor, with their roles, they design, initiate, fund, monitor, report to clinical investigations. And there may also be CROs that are designated to do different functions that may be included in the sponsor role. Their responsibilities are that they 
are required to select competent CRAs to conduct the trial progress and recruit qualified investigators, obtain required documentation from the sites, and to provide detailed and updated information associated with the investigational drug brochure. Ensure compliance with protocols and GCP, identify the record keeping and retention requirements, and ensure disposal, disposition of unused trial supplies. I always say from a data management perspective, we're not involved in, let's say, some of the clinical operations startup. But I also, when I have just data managers on board, and especially new ones, I recommend that sometimes they might go to the FDA.gov and look at the debarment list.